See, there are only two sorts of people who are very clear about everything in their lives, a fool and a fanatic. So if you're confused, you're neither of these two, which is a good sign <laughs> Utter idiots and fanatics are always dead sure of everything. They know they're going to heaven. Only… their only problem is they want to take you along. <laughs> they need company <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing going everywhere, particularly in the Western world, but it's very much come to urban India in a big way today. That is, uh, you want to be decisive, <laughs> this is it. You see, I'm reconsidering my life all the time, all the time, whether I should continue a Sadhguru or should I become a chef or should I just go back to motorcycling or should I do something else or should I play golf, should I do something or should I simply laze around, why not? I'm always considering every day and still I'm making a decision, it's better to do this <laughs> Yes, I'm not decided, I'm still considering and that's why it's valuable. Not because I decided long time ago I have no choice, I keep on doing the same thing because I'm stuck in this. The nature of the mind is, it is intelligent and alive only if every moment it's looking. If it is concluded and decided, it is a dumb mind, it's as good as a block of wood. Every moment it's considering, only then it is an active mind. It's only that. You make this choice, you make… You, you must be joyfully confused, that's all I'm saying. People get confused and miserable because they have an idea that they must be… They think all successful people are all clear and they're determined, they've made their decisions. No, only fanatics are like that and fools are like that. Somebody who's successful, he's keeping his eyes open for anything and everything, right? So, uh, this idea that your mind must be made up is a silly idea. It's important that every moment it's a choice, everything that you're doing, life becomes beautiful because there is enormous joy because you want to do this right now. Because I decided ten years ago I'm doing it, how will you have any joy in what you're doing right now? So. This every day in the morning you get up and you don't know what to do, it's a perfect way to get up. Yes, this does not mean that you will do different things every day. Even if you do the same thing, it's by choice. Then it keeps you alive to everything that you're doing because you're doing it by choice. The choice that you're making is now. You might have made the cho same choice ten thousand times in the last ten years, it doesn't matter. But now you're once again making an active choice, this is very important. Only then you will stay alive to life, otherwise I made my choice, it will become a burden. I made my choice long time ago, so I have to do it now, is a very burdensome process to live with. So, confusion is way better than silly conclusions that people are making about life. Only thing is you have to learn to enjoy the confusion. Yes, I'm working hard to make you confused <laughs> Yes, because all kinds of idiotic conclusions about life, all kinds of stupid conclusions. See, for a long time people had this conclusion, that they will go to heaven, all right? I'm just taking one uh, troublesome thing right now because with Afghanistan as a situation, it's troubling everybody in the world. Heaven-bound people, what they do on this planet is, because they're going to heaven, what is on this planet is not of value. Anyway, they're going to heaven. 
So, now they brought it to everybody's face. It's always so. It's just that people don't see it most of the time. But now, with a geopolitical situation, they are rubbing it on your face. We are going to heaven, you are not going, so you see what we will do to you. Anyway, I am not going to your heaven. I am not going to compete with you in the real estate of heaven. You can leave me alone. Hello? <laughs> yeah, I am not going to heaven. So, you are heaven-bound people, you should ignore me, isn't it? But no, you cannot, because your lie will not fly if I live. <laughs> your lie will fly only if you get rid of me, isn't it? So, these things are happening because people have conclusions. How they arrived at this conclusion? Who helped them to make these conclusions? I am taking a very esoteric conclusion, <laughs> but in daily life also this is happening, somebody believes. This is right, just this one stupid conclusion. How many parents have tortured their children? Hello? They love them, but they torture them, they smash them up every day. Yes or no? They love them, they hold them as the light of their life, but every day daily torture, because they think this is the way, that is the way. Why can't you look at it every moment and see what brings maximum well-being to this and to everything else? Why can't we look at it? What is the problem? So, if you don't know how to make uh, these choices, if they're confusing you, the problem is there is no love or commitment towards anything, okay? If there is an immense sense of love towards something, all these things will fall into place. See, you don't need morality, you don't need values, you don't need ethics. If you're conscious, you don't need any of those things. Suppose that is not possible, the next best thing is you have a deep sense of love. If you have this, you again don't need any values, you don't need any ethics, you don't need any anything, because what you love you will take care in the best possible way. Because people think… I think I should read this to you. Because people think love is a sappy talk and you know, I love you, you love me nonsense going on everywhere. No, it's a very deep sense of integrity and commitment, isn't it? When you genuinely love something or somebody, there is an enormous sense of integrity towards that. You will never do anything harmful to what you love, if you genuinely love. If love is a mutual benefit scheme, and it's a different matter. Love is not just for sweet words or tenderness of touch and sappy emotions. Love is the bedrock of integrity, courage and sacrifice. Who else but those whose hearts are soaked in love has held others' well-being above their own? Who have stood up against threats and dangers, but for those invested in love. Who but the lovers have been the most willing to sacrifice all that matters and themselves at the altar of love? Love the tenderest and the most resilient of all human traits. You need to build something. If you don't have anything, then this mind's possibility of considering and reconsidering everything every moment becomes a painful process. Otherwise, this becomes a fantastic process. You have to become either conscious or at least loving. Hello? Once you have this, then you will see this daily consideration will not be painful, it will be very joyful and wonderful.